I'm Molly here with Rose City RV of Michigan, and today we're going to take a look at the Heritage Glen Wildwood 308 RL. Is this the correct model for you, you may ask? Here are five key specifications to help you decide. This model sleeps up to four people, has a weight of 9,464 pounds, has an overall length of 38 feet 7 inches, has a height of 11 feet 2 inches, and features three slides. Okay, so starting in the living room, you can see we have a large, spacious, open area here in this floor plan with dual opposing slides. It makes for a lot of room in here. This 2025 model is gonna feature brown furniture with black accents as we like black fascias around the slide, black window trim um, with a light brown flooring contour. So it looks really nice all together with our black and gold faucet fixtures and such. So not a whole lot of changes from 24 as far as features go, but color schemes have definitely changed um, and are an improvement in my opinion. Um, we've seen this model a few times. We've seen this large hidden pantry area. They have changed this up a little bit as the travel lock is now hid inside of here. So we're gonna open that. And as you can see, this opens up into a large uh, storage area here. Okay, so in the back of the coach, we have a flip out sofa, which is nice. So you can sleep two full adults there. Um, I do believe they call this a queen size bed. Um, these cushions come off of here like so to turn this into a bed. I'm gonna lift up this bottom piece, pull it straight out. It's got two legs here, flip this down, and then flip this down. And as you can see, it's fairly quick. So just like that, you can have two extra sleeping spaces if need be, but this is what we would call a couple's coach, as in it's made really just for two people, but you can sleep those extras if need be. Okay, you can also tell that we have a ton of windows in this model. I like that about this floor plan. This one has done really well for us. A lot of good feedback from customers. We've sold, I think, three of this model already this year, and everybody has been extremely happy um, in the long term. So that always makes me feel good um, when they're not just happy on day one and after owning it for three, four, five months and spending some time in it, they're still happy. So next to the couch here, we've got dual outlets. So here and here, so lots of places to plug in all your gadgets. Two puck lights overhead here, just push buttons and all those are gonna have those. These windows feature really cool blinds. They're hidden, it looks really residential. And all you do is just pull these together and they are magnetic. So you get that nice clean look, no more valances, wood square trim, which I like on these square windows. So moving to the door side slide. So this is gonna be the slide that is on the campsite side. So it does stick out a little. Um, so you're gonna want a larger campsite for this unit for that reason. This has dual awnings, which we'll show you outside. So you're not losing out on awning space. This is a recliner setup over here. So dual recliners. Then you're gonna have a flip down here um, with some cup holders and some charging devices there which is nice. They feature these little pillows with it. Those come with it, which is nice. One thing they did here, they rounded these corners on the dinette, which is a simple change, but just kind of makes that more user friendly. You don't have to worry about running that into your side. And then if you look underneath of here, you have no dinette legs. That's another nice feature. Um, you can get these stools underneath of there. You can sit under there comfortably without hitting your knees on that. Uh, table base. So that's cool too. Big island here. This is going to come um, with two inserts here so that way you can cover this if you want to make this all counter space. We don't have those in here now but that's what that is. We have our new Furion ovens with the thermocouples built in so they don't emit gas if you accidentally bump them. When they're on they also illuminate red which is nice. Kind of helps you know if you bump that 
or if you are cooking, you know which burners are on based on the color. And then a nice little night light there. And same with the oven light function. On top we have our range and our light and vent fan here, which is a nice feature. We have some puck lights underneath here, so you can light up this countertop. Regular uh, microwave, this is not going to be as big as a residential, but one thing to say about this microwave, it is at a better height than a lot of um, models. They put them above the head, which is uncomfortable for actual use, putting things in and taking them out, especially hot items. And then we have our Furion 12 volt refrigerator. This is 10.7 cube, so almost 11 cube. And most people call it 11, which it almost is. But nice big freezer you have there and deep refrigerator function. This does allow you to switch the hinges too if you're not interested in it opening this way, which in this model, I don't know why you'd want it to open any other way. But it is there if you want to. And then we have a small pantry there. And that's got a censored light, which it's off right now, but when you open the door, it can turn on for you. Over here, we have just additional coffee uh, space. Most of the time, that's what people use it for, coffee bar, liquor bar, whatever. It's just a nice little extra piece of counter that you wouldn't normally get. We have our new Coleman Mach thermostat located here, so you can obviously adjust the temperature there. And... This has dual air, so moving to the back, this air conditioner is going to have the functions right on the air conditioner in the, in the bedroom here. So this is going to be a 50 amp unit, and you would need 50 amp to run both of these. So if you don't have 50 amp, you can still use them. You just got to use one at a time, but the nice thing is you can toggle between the two during the day. If you want to run the, the living room one, you can. If you want to run the bedroom one, you can do that at night, which is nice. Now, we have our monitor panel located here. This is going to be where most of our switches and our gadgets are located. So, awning switches, slide switches, light switches, water heater switch. Um, actually, water heater is going to be on this one, not on the monitor panel. This is an on-demand water heater on this one, so you can control your temperature right from here, which we like. Um, we will tag the Suburban on-demand water heater video um, to this if you want to see that one on how to function that as far as take a shower. There are some settings on this that are better um, if you need to know that. Definitely tune into that video. Then we have a cool JBL setup in here. This has JBL interior speakers. Um, I believe they're exterior too. We'll check that out on the outside. Um, but you got Bluetooth, you can control the volume and everything right from here. That's a much higher quality system than they were ever using before. So we have a nice bathroom in here, nice tri-slide, some storage next to the bathroom, which isn't huge. And then underneath of the counter a little bit. And then we have this really nice rounded mirror with a backlit. It just really looks residential in comparison um, to a lot of them. So big bathroom, feels really nice and homey in there. And then back to the bedroom here, we have a huge storage up here. As you can see, this is just massive. You can put washer dryer in there. You can just do storage clothes options. You can hang from there. Um, really a lot of options if you're an extended stay RVer with that. And even if you aren't an extended stay RVer and you just want to have a lot of space, that definitely allows you to do that little hamper here and then our three drawers there this also offers the bed slide so this bed will um, obviously slide out it's in the out position now so we can stand here comfortably you can change your clothes and not have to fight the space they also put these nice little um, shelves over the window there which is kind of a cool concept sleep apnea machine um, in a lot of people's circumstances that's a handy thing or just a bottle of water whatever you want but at least you have a little end table there you're not being shorted even though you don't have that space in between the bed and the wall and then dual windows that also open so you can get some air movement through there if if you need to and then we have our dual outlets right here next to the slide underneath of that if you're wondering what that is that's a furnace exhaust if you've noticed if you look at the floor, there are no 
registers in the floor. That just helps keep the integrity of the floor solid. Don't have to have duct work. And then another thing people don't think of, the mice love to get in that duct work in the floor, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, and then also the dirt, the dust, and the dog hair that gets all in there, no more of that either. So that's definitely a plus. I like that option. If you turn around here, we have our TV booster located up here. So if you want to put a TV in here, that's going to boost the signal for both the living room and the bedroom TV. And then we have a nice, another nice large window here. Um, again, built-in blinds here. Just looks super clean. And you don't have any valances sticking out to run your leg into. Those little curtain hold downs that everybody's always replacing. No more of those. And like I've said a million times, it just looks super residential. Um, so I like that a lot. And this is solid wood trim. So definitely a nice feature. Okay. So we've seen all the inside. Let's check out the features on the outside. So starting here in the front, this is what we call the pass-through storage. This is what goes underneath of the closet that you saw in there. We have some of the items being stored in here, but you can see there's a decent amount of storage. You can get to it from both directions, what we like. They also have a couple hangers in here for our manual overrides for our slides and jacks. And then on the other side, our solar controller and our battery disconnect they put that on the driver's side so easy access that'll read you your voltage and things like that if you need to see also have a light and a plug out here on this side just another nice feature so moving along here we have our power stabilizers front and back you're going to have one switch that controls the side the door side and the off door side on the front or the back when you run those if you ever looked at an RV and you saw these little holes here and you wondered what those are, they can be a couple of things. <clears throat> if you look underneath of here, we can see the spare tires right, right here. That's how you're going to raise and lower that spare tire, okay? One of these is for that, and the other one is going to be the manual override for the slide. Those are always going to be on the off side of the slide, so if that slide's on the, the opposite side, the manual override will be on the other side. So there's a jack handle that you can use for that. You just put it in there and turn that if need be. If you have a power failure or a parts failure, you can still get those slides in. Then we have our dog leash here. This is um, something that's easily looked over, but if you are a dog person, it is super nice to have that. You're not looking for something to tie your dog up with. Then we have our solid steps, which anymore, pretty much everybody's using those. Um, they are just so much nicer than the standard aluminum. Um, or steel steps that they used to use. And then if you um, come along here to the outlet here, this is going to be GFI protected, another um, cable hookup. So if you want to put an outside TV out here, you could. Looking at the exterior of this coach, it's going to be all grays and blacks, which is really nice. It just looks good. And then this textured J-wrap material here just kind of helps um, be stronger from the dings and the dents too that this bottom metal seems to get around the camp site. Then we have another hole here for our manual override on the other side. And then power stabilizers for the rear. And then an LP quick disconnect here. They put a nice sticker there. And it's over there on this one. Um, that's so if you want to have an external grill flat top, you can hook it up and it'll use your onboard propane tanks. And then our satellite cable hookup. So again, if that park has the cable hookup, you can simply put those in there. It'll feed those inside ports and this outside one here for that outside TV if you want. Okay, this unit does not have a rear bumper, which most people would not notice until they go to dump at the dump station their first use, and then they go, okay, where do I put my sewer hose? Well, on this model, they put a nice sewer hose holder here, which we like considering there's no bumper. It's just cleaner looking. And then we also have our two by two hitch receiver there that's gonna be attached to the frame so you can put those heavier items on here. I think those are rated at 250 pounds. So if you wanna put a generator, firewood, bikes you don't have to worry about that bend in your bumper either and then looking up top here we have our observation camera um, hookup this does not come with an observation camera it is pre-wired though all you do is take those four screws out it's one plug and pop that in there 
and you're ready to go, you can see behind you at all times. Um, again, it's not just for backing up. You can run that when you're going down the road. And if you do have bikes or if there's somebody behind you, you can see that it's just kind of a nice option. And then up here we have our on-the-go ladder system. That is the Lippert ladder. We have a video for that also. We've had a few comments about people wanting to use other ladders. You can definitely use other ladders. That's just made for that one. Um, but it's definitely not the only one that you can use it with. Just be careful if you use an off-brand one. Make sure you get some sort of hook to hold on there so you're not risking it by tipping over on there. Now in the back here we have our 50 amp hookup. So this is a good location for that. Usually your posts are gonna be in the back of your site. Moving along here, we have our range vent up there. And then we have both sewer ports here. So your bathroom and the washer dryer hookup is gonna be on that front one. And then your kitchen and your toilet is gonna to be on this one. So obviously the three inch and with the black handle is gonna be for the toilet. The inch and a half gray is gonna be for the kitchen. Coming over here, like I said, that's gonna be bath. Um, obviously not the toilet, but just the sink and the shower. And then that one going to the front is that washer dryer hookup. So you got two gray tanks on here. It really gives you a lot of space if you don't have full hookup. Okay, moving up here, we have our furnace exhaust. We like it when they put the furnace exhaust on the off door side, because there's a lot less risk of putting anything in front of this and making any fire. Below that, we have our on-demand water heater. So that's what you see here. This has a master switch out here. So you saw the controls inside. I told you, you could adjust the temperature from there. But you gotta have this switch on. If this switch isn't on, that's not gonna have any power and it's gonna seem like nothing's working. Then next to that, we have our city water connection, our black tank flush, and our fresh water connection. So our city water connection is going to be if the campsite offers a water hookup, you can hook your hose right up to there and use the water pressure off of that. Our fresh water connection is going to be if you want to fill your onboard tank and use your interior water pump to pressurize all your lines, you can do that. So that's more of the state park thing, off grid thing. If you don't have water hookup, you're gonna to wanna to fill up there. That'll fill that tank. Then we have our black tank flush. So our black tank flush is going to spray in the interior of our black tank at a high pressured rate. If you are an avid RVer and your monitor panels have quit working or you've heard about that, a lot of times that's just from debris getting stuck to the diodes on those. That's a very simple way um, that those are designed. They're not foolproof. It doesn't take hardly anything to get stuck to that and give you a false reading. So this black tank flush will allow you to keep that agitated and moving and keep the debris off the wall so your, your monitor panels work properly. So use that if you have that. And then we have our outside shower. This is gonna give us both hot and cold to the exterior, which most people wonder why you'd use that. I prefer it when I am done at the beach. I'm camping now. I just used mine the other day. It's really nice to rinse your feet off with warm water. Um, you can get water from the dog outside. You could actually take a shower out here, whatever you wanna do, but it is nice to have it. We have this storage that goes underneath the bed. So we have our pass through in the front. And then we have our under bed storage. That's gonna be the extent of our outside storage on this model. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the other side of our pass-through storage, which you saw on the other side. And I mentioned we had a battery disconnect and a solar controller located here. So that's gonna be the voltage regulation from the panel up on the roof. This is equipped with a panel, one 200 watt solar panel up there. And then, we have our battery disconnect located right here. So up here, we have our battery. Heritage Glen comes with a AGM battery, which is really better than a deep cycle or flooded or lead acid battery, all those terms you hear people use. And then dual 20 pounders on here, and then a power front jack. This is also gonna have a manual override. You just pop this little rubber piece off Put one of those jacks handles that they gave you in there and you can manually move this in the case that you need to so that's going to do it for our 308 video this is a brand new 2025 so if you're interested let us know we do have one on lot right now if you want us to answer any questions we'd be happy to so if you like this video please like and subscribe